There is nothing wrong with your music player. Everything you hear is being carried out as we intend. We control the treble and the bass. The imaginative processes between your ears are now under our influence. Do not attempt to adjust this podcast. You're listening to Relative Dimensions. Hello there, everyone. We're back, and this is Relative Dimensions, episode number four. This is the actual episode number four, unlike last week where I said it was number four, and then I decided it wasn't an official episode. Or that was two weeks ago. That was two weeks ago. Um, this is your Sunday Night Geek Talk radio show. My name is Chris Renshaw. I am your main host, and that voice you heard over there is Philip. How's it going, Philip? Oh, hey, there I am. All right, how's everybody doing tonight? You know that you can't. You can only do that so many times before it's just like old. Hey, People are like, "Uh, oh, it's the hand thing." I'm old. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Sunday, February twelfth, two, two thousand twelve. I stuttered for a second. I was like, "Two thousand twelve, guys. It's the end of, of the world, world as we know, know it. it." And I feel fat. I mean, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Uh, it is Sunday. We are recording live at ocdcast.com slash live, which is where you need to be if you're not listening to this right now. Um, if you're not listening to it right now, why not? What else well, you got going on Well, technically they are listening to it right now. I know. It just could be displaced in the future. The future. The future. The future. So. <laughs> the future is now. Yeah. We didn't do a show last week. That's right. We had fun last week, though. We did have fun last week. We will talk about that. We will talk about that. So I, I, I leave it up to you because I was thinking, like, n- typically this is where we do the uh, what's going on. Yeah. But a lot of what's been going on is going to be kind of our main topic. Pretty much. <laughs> so do we want to just cover main topic now? Or do we want to talk news first, or? Um. Well, I mean, what's happened in the news? I got. I found a couple interesting stories. You found a couple. Can we? Can we? Can we do the thing everyone's going to talk about though? What's that? Whitney Houston died yesterday. Oh, yeah, there is that. And, okay. All right, we talked about it. Move oh, on. Done. Moving <laughs> on. It's not that I'm calloused and unsensitive. It's just that um, she kind of ruined her body with drugs and crap, so it was going to yeah. happen. This is what happens, How kids. How about some current events? <laughs> <laughs> I snuck that on you. <laughs> See, here's the way I think of it. I didn't really care too much for her when she was alive. Now that she's dead... Don't care too much now. I'm just aggravated that Maybe. VH1 was showing every single movie and music video she ever made. Eh, I mean, it's kind of to be expected. Why are you watching VH1 would be my repertoire. Because it was 5 in the morning and there's nothing else on. Netflix. I don't have Netflix. Porn. <laughs> Shh. Wait, bigger question. Why were you up at 5 in the morning? Why, why were you asleep at 5 in the morning? Because sleeping is good. Sleeping is overrated. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Yeah. Which might be sooner than everyone thinks. <laughs> <laughs> now that you got that tax estima- uh, estimation oh, in. Oh, God, so ridiculous. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> Crap. Uh, yeah, I, I just uh, don't, don't care too much. Yeah. Maybe if I was a bigger fan of her music. I'm not saying she sucked. I'm not saying it was bad. I just didn't care. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. so like I said, I caught a couple of news stories that, um, particularly gaming, News stories uh, that I thought you might be interested in. I, I, I probably should have looked at the notes when you sent them to me because I'm like looking at these now. And I'm like, oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? So uh, the first one I found, which is apparently there's a new Magic the Gathering video game incoming. Um, uh, apparently there was a South Korean rating or video game rating thing, and they they published some of the or they gave out ratings for some of the games. And, you know, I really should have read this article. Mm -hmm. I probably should. I just saw kind of the title and skimmed through it. This is what I get. I thought I was prepared this time, but it turns out I lied to myself. But basically, there's going to be a Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalker 2013. Ah. There was was Duel of the Planeswalkers. Then there was Duel of the Planeswalkers 2012, which I bought and played. Oh, really? And then now they're coming out of 2013. Which, 
2012 Duel the Planeswalkers 2012s awesome game. Really? Yeah, it was basically magic on the computer. But you didn't have to they they sold a lot of expansion packs and whatnot, but you didn't have to buy them. Like you could play the single player and unlock decks that way. Okay. Um and it was just like playing magic. It it was actually a really great way to play magic if you don't know how to play magic. Gotcha. Like I want to learn how to play. Would it walk you through? I was like, okay, well, this is what it means to tap something, blah, blah, blah. And uh by the way, if you're not wondering what we're talking about, Magic the Gathering, we're talking about the card game Magic the Gathering. Just in case. So Doxon in the chat room's wondering about David Copperfield and Chris Angel. Not those kind of magic cards. Not those yeah, no. No. So it's it's technically um MTG TGC. Magic the Gathering trading card. Whoa, what was that? What? I think my head just exploded <laughs> head from just letters. Ah, too many letters. Too many letters. <laughs> oh, that's right. We work around government. We shouldn't really use the alphabet soup all that much. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, um, you pl- you play the card game. I play. Th- I dabble in the card game every once in a while. You have not played the online game though. Um, the uh, ninth edition core set. Uh huh. Came with a. With a version. It came with a computerized version. Oh, the Magic Online? Yeah. Yeah, that was crap. Because you had to like buy the cards in the game. Yeah. And, yeah. And you could you could you could for an extra fee, the card you already bought in the game, you could have actual printed copies sent to you and they'd be deleted from your game account. Wait. Exactly. Huh? What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so no wonder that crashed. That was just a dumb thing. The new stuff they got going on now, it's pretty sweet. I think the game when I bought it, I think it was like ten bucks when I bought it. Okay. Um, I think it's free now. Now the question I have: um, Did you have to untap uh, lands at the end of your turn? What do you mean? Huh? In the online version, I got mana burned so much because I'd go through and I'm like, "Yes, my turn's over," and it was like, "Are you sure your turn's over?" "Yes, my turn's over." Damn it! And it's like, "Oh, you have sixteen mana burn because you didn't untap all your." resources. No, it automatically untaps. Okay, good. I might go take a look at that. <laughs> Cuz that was just so annoying. Yeah, when it be, when it comes your turn, everything untaps for you. Awesome. You don't have to click untap. It See, it does a lot of the mechanics stuff for you. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, like I think the 2012 is free, I think. Mm. Um it's on Steam. Okay. Which by the way, I should have put this in the look what I found, but I did something else. They got a Steam app now on the phone. <laughs> Um, I can't play games on it, not that kind of app, but I can uh, text, like, I can talk to my Steam friends, like, the messaging systems on here. Okay. Um, I can see if they're online and what they're playing. But what I've been using it for is because, you know how they have those daily deals every day? Mm-hmm. I don't always remember when I'm at my computer. I just pop open the Steam app and go, what's on sale today? There you go. I haven't bought anything yet, but you will. I, I, eventually. <laughs> There's a little logic. Ma- this is how one of the things I got to thinking about this because there's been a lot of magic stuff on the uh, mm-hmm. Steam store recently, especially in the the on sale stuff. Um. So so there's that. Uh, the second article I knew you would like, and that is we're getting another Starcraft game or Star Trek game. Star- wow, you. Uh, I mean, we are I, getting I would a, love a new the Starcraft game. We actually are getting a new Starcraft game sometime, but that's like an expansion, the Zerg part, the Zerg part, and then the Protoss part. Uh, yeah. The, with with the amount of time that came between Starcraft Brood War and the first thing of Starcraft Two, I'm thinking we might get that Zerg expansion pack the same time the Redskins go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, then the Redskins might be going to Super Bowl next year. Awesome, because it's supposed to be like. This year or next year, sometimes when we get hard of the form. Okay, nice. Um, but Star Trek, we're supposed to be getting a new game in Q1 2013. So that would be this time next year. And that screenshot actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, because there's a guy just floating there. Yeah, there'll <laughs> be a there'll be a link, uh, in the show notes. Um. But yeah, apparently Namco Bandai. Is going to be co-publishing it. I heard, I saw some. I, I read through this article a little bit more, and there's like cooperative play. Uh-huh. That will be awesome. Yes. See, I think I'd like I think I'd like this a little bit more in a co-op, single-ish player kind of thing. Like yeah. two people play, not so much online. Star not Trek so Online. Well, like see, see, and Star Trek Online. I love Star Trek Online. 
they just premiered um, a new featured series uh, yesterday mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. And I sat there. I played through it. It was amazing. I have my new uh, – during during the two-year, the second anniversary, they had this event going on where you could pick up – they had a character – not a character. They had a player design the brand-new USS Enterprise This was like last app. year, right? That was last year when they had the character design it. This year, they put it in the game. Boom. There are so many of us flying around with this friggin' awesome Star Cruiser. It's got four forward weapons, four aft weapons. I was mad because when I started playing that, they um, somehow auto-fire got erased. But then after like another gigabyte worth of patches later. Yeah, maybe it was just something that got patched out by accident. Yeah, uh, auto-fire is back. Oh, man. Just flying around in this mission. The... Um, the year in Star Trek Online, the year is 2409. Okay. All right. We are the event at the very beginning of the new J.J. Abrams movie mm -hmm. um, with the, the Hobus supernova and Romulus being destroyed. That event has actually happened. Right. All right. So we are years after that. So the game takes place in the real Star Trek universe after the event that happens in the new movie. So, yes. so the timeline's like uh, it, it kind of forks. You got... When when that event happens, you got new Star Trek movie uh -huh. on the experience in the altered universe, and in the regular universe, you've got Star Trek Online. Star Trek Online is still going on. There's a bunch of stuff um, on the loading screens. It's got a bunch of like weird tool tips and kind of crap going on. It says that um, the Romulan Nero and uh, Ambassador Spock are thought to have died in the the supernova. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, in this timeline, sure they did because they just poof, they're in the new timeline. <laughs> Um, you flying around, flying around in this cruiser is so amazing, man. After this, you're in twenty four oh nine. You're flying around in this cruiser, and the mission, the featured episode mission, is the Dominion has been in hiding, basically. Like we defeated them since DS nine. Since DS nine, pretty much, they've been in hiding. Um, sure, there's some random missions where you got to go off and fight some some Alpha Quadrant Jim Hadar who are acting stupid because they're running out of the. The, the catcher cell white to keep them alive. This thing is where the Gamma Quadrant, the founders, and the um, the guys with the V, I don't know what they're called, the Vorta, the founders, the Vorta, and the Delta Quadrant, Je or Gamma Quadrant, Jem Hadar, mm -hmm. they come through the wormhole, and they start to beat the crap out of DS9. Well, of course, you're there for some, you're <laughs> conveniently, you're there for some <laughs> random diplomatic mission. Conveniently. And you have to defend the space station. Just having everything on auto fire. And then you just push one button on my controller. And I can just fly around. Oh, man. And just I'm just destroying everything. It's amazing. It's amazing. So, so I, I take it you're having fun. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having fun. I can't, like, this. the way these new featured episodes work is um, every week they, they, preview, they premiere a new mission. Mm -hmm. So it's like next Saturday. Next Saturday, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Next Saturday, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's like you're waiting for a new Star Trek episode. <laughs> ah, that's exactly what it's like. It's so amazing. So how does this, uh, how do you feel about a new Star Trek game? I... I'm wondering if it's going to be, because the movie's supposed to be around this time at some point. The new one? They're saying it's, um, so it's well, supposed it says right there, it's premiering, the new movie is May 17th yeah. of next year. So maybe this game is going to be in the new Star Trek universe. That that very well could be, because um, I'm looking at the screenshot and it's got the uh, it's got the giant bulbous yeah the cells. I gotta say the new constellation class that was in the the new that thing looks awesome. Yeah, it does. I like all the random little pieces they put in there. Like when they went to warp, those little oh yeah doors opened on the side, and you're like, what are those for? Who cares? It's just some random little bit. Yeah. Look All right, so that's the news. That's the news. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right, so weather. Uh, did you happen to take any time to, to find something? The, the look what I found? Uh, yeah, I just talked about it. Oh. New, new Star Trek Online episode. Oh, so that was it? You were just there. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the, 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 uh, the thing that I found is, Chris again, Chris. another little iPhone app. Another iPhone app. Um. But uh, you heard me talking about Minecraft. Yes. So I did it 
and I bought Minecraft on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I finally did it. Uh, what I did is it, there's a Pocket Edition app. It's on Android and iOS. Uh, it's like seven bucks, which for an app is pretty expensive. Yeah. Uh, it's not the full featured game. It is the creative mode, which is basically there's no zombies, no no mobs or anything. You just place blocks and you destroy blocks. Okay. That's all it is. Um, very limited, and you cannot connect to any of the servers online. Uh, so if you're right now, unless you're a hardcore Minecraft person like I've become, okay. I would not get it. Okay. Uh, but there is an update in the works. In fact, it should be out in the next day or two that they're going to put it. They've... There were so many people that liked the idea of playing Minecraft on their phone that they had to go in and rewrite, rechange. They changed the code completely so they could eventually put in survival mode, which has like the zombies and the okay. all the other stuff. And this update's kind of the first step towards that. So maybe in a couple months, you may want to try checking it out. Are they, are, do you think they're probably planning on updating to um, allow linkage into the servers? I don't know. I hope so. And if so. Definitely going to be worth it yeah. because Minecraft on the computer, $27. On the phone, $7. Hey. And free updates. So if you buy it now, then it's guaranteed not to go up in price. Boom. But there have been instances where it's also gone down in price. Like I saw some reviews for people saying they got it for like 10 cents. Oh, really? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, $7, may not want to get it. But you may want to put it on your, uh, they got like app shopper things. Okay. That'll let you know when they go on sale. Might be worth doing. Um, so that's what I found. Uh, so, at this point, this is the part where I'm going to talk about uh, Stitcher Radio. Stitcher Radio. Um, they don't sponsor the show, but we do like to promote them. We are on Stitcher Radio. Stitcher Radio is an app that you can download for your smartphone that allows it's basically allows you to have like uh, Pandora for podcasts. You can listen to all sorts of different podcasts. It makes kind of stations on of them, so you can just kind of quickly stream them. You don't have to download anything other than the app to your phone. Um, all you got to do is download the app, search for different things. If you like this app, um, or if you like our show, you can find other shows just like it uh, and all sorts of great stuff. If you sign up, you're going to want to go to stitcher.com slash relative D and sign up and use the code relative D and you will be entered to win a hundred dollar cash card. Woohoo! And everybody loves money. Except, money, that, money, money. except that little baby on money. that Capital One commercial. Didn't you make that joke last time? I'm gonna keep making it. Oh my god! No, Philip. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, speaking of money and sponsorships, I'm thinking about. <clears throat> I did this before on my previous podcasts. Uh, there's a site called Fiverr.com where you can put up an ad. Okay. And uh, I may start doing sponsorships on the show where people pay five bucks and I'll just basically promote whatever they want. There you go. So kind of supplement the hosting costs a little bit. That's right. Yeah. All right. Uh, this button. And now what you've been waiting for, the main event. Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft. That's like all I've been doing, Minecraft, Minecraft. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, like I said, I got the Minecraft on my phone. I've not been playing it that much other than, I don't know if you saw it, but I posted this nice little OCD picture I made in uh, Minecraft. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's pretty much the only thing I've done on the phone. However, this was the gateway drug uh, for Chloe and Ashley. <laughs> they did not have the full version like I did, but since I bought it on my phone, they got it on their phones for free ah. because they're all linked on the same Apple account. So Ashley got to playing it, and it was basically like a stress reliever. She could just sit in bed and watch Bones and just play Minecraft. There you go. Uh, but now she was really wa she's like, "Curse you! <laughs> <laughs> I want the I want the mine full version now." So I ended up buying it for her, and I probably will for Chloe too because she likes it too. Hey, there we go, Doxon. Doxon can promote his new line of Soylent Green products. Yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. Soylent Green is p perfect. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. <laughs> So that green is people's number one kind of food. That's right. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, you saw the old computer down here. I didn't. 
uh, I I was trying to set up a Minecraft server. Oh really? For like basically Ashley and Chloe to play on because they don't want to play survival mode. They still want to do creative. Okay. Um, but she likes it because she can like fly around and stuff now. Um, so I was trying to set up a Minecraft server, but I was having some trouble. So yeah, Jeez. I had the old computer hooked up because it's not doing anything. So, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. It's been kind of cool. I get on at night with a couple of friends on the same server, and we'll talk and do. And it's really funny because you'll be sitting there playing and talking, and then something will happen to somebody, or you'll just suddenly hear, oh, crap, and then on your screen in, in Minecraft, it'll be like, so-and-so was, sh- was slain by a zombie. And you're just like, ha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Or, like, when the, when something, like, spooks you and just out of nowhere, you just hear, ah! <laughs> and the creeper just blows up behind you. So... Yeah. I'm trying to download the Stitcher app. Is it can you? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Yeah. Sweet. So, uh World of Warcraft update. You you've been playing more World of Warcraft. I have been playing more World of Warcraft. We were down here playing it actually the other day. Yep. I'm I'm now in uh I'm now in one of the fifteen guilds that make up the uh the main the main AIE guild. Yeah. Did you ever post anything on the forums? Uh, no, I still haven't done that. <laughs> I should probably do that. Yeah. Um, Turns out Stitcher's not compatible with my phone. Oh, like we didn't already know that. Yeah, uh, it was a long shot. Yeah. So, have you played any when I haven't been on? Uh, not this past week. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've been doing a little, because uh, I knew that feature. Star Trek. Yeah, uh, doing, I knew the featured stuff was coming out in Star yeah. Trek, so I'm like, I'm trying to, I started a Klingon character, and... He's only a captain, so I'm trying to get him leveled up to. Nice. I mean, he's. Yeah. What level do we finish off with? In currently, we're like I'm like 22, I think. You're at level 22. I think. Okay. Well, or 21. Currently, um, it only goes up to level 50, which in. No, I was talking about WoW. Oh, in WoW. Oh, in WoW. See, you switch topics. All right, all right. Back to Starcraft or Star Trek. Okay. I keep saying Starcraft. Well, it's Star okay. Trek. Let's, let's finish off okay. that first. Well, in Star Trek, currently you can only go to level fifty, mm-hmm. which in the Federation is the vice admiral, and which in the uh, the Klingon, the Klingon Defense Force, the KDF, is a brigadier, not a brigadier. It's a major general, major general, lieutenant general. It's lieutenant general. Yes, brigadier, major, lieutenant. Boom, got it. Um, which I think is a little odd, because they start off. The lower ranks are, the non-flag ranks are lieutenant, lieutenant commander, commander, captain. But then they go into army ranks of generals. I'm like, eh, eh. Well, they do have lieutenants and stuff in the in the army. Well, yes, I know that. But they, they have lieutenants and then captains and majors. Oh, yeah. They should have done like... Well, major's an army <laughs> rank. The captain isn't. Well... Yes, it is. Well, it is, but it's different in the... It, yeah. A a navy. It goes Captain Major, Captain Major, Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel. Yes, I only know this from Stargate. <laughs> Colonel Carter. <laughs> she started off as Captain Carter. That's right, she started off as Captain Carter, which is the same as a navy lieutenant. Yes. Whereas, like O'Neill, as a colonel, would have been like a captain. Navy captain. That's right. Yes. All right, now back into WoW. Um, I think we stopped off at... I think you uh, were 21, I was 22. Yeah. But you got to experience your first dungeon. Yes, I did. That was kind of cool. How was that? Uh, that was pretty neat. I want to go back in so I can hurry and get that other quest. Yeah, or finish the quest, like yeah. the first... Because we jumped in like halfway through. The problem is now is like we're already like leveling past that point, so we're on to like the next dungeon. Well, damn it, man. Yeah. Well, I need to play a little more because uh, like I had I had Jason grant me all those levels... Yeah, I'm still wearing all my, <laughs> my low <laughs> armor and equipment and everything. I was like, oh, I should actually go in and try some stuff. Yeah, well, that's the great part about doing the random stuff is because you get like you saw the bag of loot. Yeah. You randomly get stuff. That gave me a bunch of good stuff. Mm-hmm. Is there now? Is there any way you can instead of doing a random dungeon, actually go back into that dungeon? Yeah, specifically. All oh, well, there's two ways. All the dungeons have portals in the game. Like that one is actually the one we were in. Is out in the Barrens. Okay. There's a big oasis kind of part, and there's a portal that goes it, it, like all all the dungeons. That's what that little glistering little thing you kept walking into. Yeah. That's the entry portal. Um. The it's also instance, the exit portal. Uh, yes. 
Um, so you can walk into the dungeon that way. The other way you do it is in the dungeon finder, I clicked random. You can also hit like select dungeon and it randomly finds you a group and puts you in that dungeon. Okay. But you don't get bonus loot for that. Yeah. Because you're choosing the dungeon. Because you're picking your dungeon. Okay. Yeah. I just want to finish off that armor set, man. That's yeah. Yeah, but you're already getting to the point that armor set would be useless. I don't know, man. That stuff was giving me armor of like a 65 armor rating. Just wait till we go to the next dungeon, though. Okay. <laughs> Start getting like hundreds and stuff like that. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah, starting to get up there. We're in the 20s. That's right. We're in we the got 20s. mounts. I've got two characters who are in the 20s with mounts. Yeah. Now, you don't play Alliance, so. Yeah. Doesn't no. really help me on my Alliance character. And you, like, refuse to. Look nope. at that face. You're like, I'm not doing it. No. Nope. <sighs> I can't I can't give myself any benefits. Really? Yeah. Okay. What if I buy an Apple product? I would say why. What? I, I've, I've told you I'm, I'm turning into a hypocrite. All right, I pay monthly subscription fees for games now. I've yeah, but you I'm... had been before. Uh, I, eh. It was just WoW. Yeah, it, mostly it was just WoW. Yeah, right. you've been how you've been playing Star Trek Online for like over a year now. Um, actually, because I stopped when they went free to play. I hadn't well, I know, it, but I'd you been. had been for like the longest time. I'd been uh, three hundred days. I was subscribed for three hundred days because that's the current veteran reward I'm at. Right. So, yeah. Um, speaking of wow, that's what you and Jason were up to. Well, we had the, uh, the land party for the Super Bowl. Yep. We had that. That was awesome. The land party was pretty fun. Yeah. I, uh, I completely spaced because I was traveling back from right. South Carolina for my birthday. Just left all my computer stuff at home and I get over here. Hey guys, what's going on? Yeah. I was wondering if I was like, you, you, I also wonder if it was like, you were just chilling at home. I was like. You coming over? Yeah. You're like, it said seven. I'm like, no one didn't. It said like noon. <laughs> Nobody came over to like three, but still. <laughs> yeah, I was that. Uh, well, Jason didn't put right. Team Fortress 2 on his computer like I told them to anyway, so. Yeah. It's like, put Team Fortress 2 on your computer. It's probably what we're going to end up playing because it's free to play. Did you, did you put on? No. Well, download it. <laughs> no. Well, it's going to take like hours. <laughs> well, screw you. <laughs> We're playing, and this is like while we're playing Team Fortress 2. Yeah, so you guys are doing some cool stuff in there. Yeah. I saw something with a rocket launcher the whole time. Yeah, it's one of the classes, the the sk soldier. Okay. He gets a rocket launcher. And I was using it pretty fiercely when against somebody's uh, turret gun. It's because it kept shooting us, and I would just pop out and be like, doo, 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 <laughs> and jump back. And, of course, he'd be, the other guy would be there with, like, repairing it. And it's like, like As jump back. So I got to the point I was trying to aim for him. I finally blew blew it up, and then somebody sniped me. Oh. And by the time I ran back, they'd already built the gun back. Hey. It's like, you suck! Gotta find them choke points and just secure them. Just, yeah. Rah. That was ridiculous. That's amazing. It's yeah. in play. Yeah. That was awesome. And Ashley liked it, uh, w kept making fun of me because uh, all the ladies were upstairs watching the Super Bowl, yeah. and all the guys were downstairs playing video games. At least we weren't like drinking tea and talking about our feelings. Yeah, right, that's that's all I gotta say on that. We had beer. That's right. We had we had adult beverages. Yes, we were doing. We did go out there. We watched like the fourth quarter, which was probably the best part to watch. That was the best part to watch, and Jason cried a little. Yeah, I thought it was awesome because I didn't think the Giants were actually gonna win. I didn't either. And I was like, I'm gonna pull for the Giants one because I don't want to see the Patriots win. Two because everybody else is pulling for the Patriots. Yep. And how finally Ashley was even pulling for the Patriots, and finally Anna was like, "Ha, ha, ha! You thought you were gonna win." I just remember, you can't do that too often. Yeah. No soup for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, that was fun. Um. Sad part is it's just getting to the point where, like, land parties are just too much work to organize. Yeah. And then getting people all playing the same game, especially computer stuff. Xbox is a little different. Yeah, with with Xbox, with consoles, it's... it's Plug kind in, of, uh, play. Yeah, boom. Consoles Do are we have the up. same game? Okay, let's play. Yeah. Comp 
computer. I mean, you got people with different settings. I mean, you got. I got to lug my whole desktop over here. Yeah, and, and, and then every like, individual person has to have the same game versus yeah. like we can have four on one console. So, bachelor party, maybe a console land party. Don't know yet. Console. Okay. And by the way, that's not the whole bachelor party. Just in case uh, anyone's uh, going to call me. I, I was going to say. No. I heard a rumor about the limo. Yeah. We are getting a limo, and we're going to go bar hopping. We should have a land party in the limo. The limo's kind of small. Well, I mean... It's not that big of a limo. I know it's not that. I've seen it. I know it's not that big of a limo. Just get, like, some small... <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just steal your two monitors here. Uh, Doxon says video game strippers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, you get to dress up as Princess Peach, <laughs> and you get to dress up as Zelda, and go. There we go. <laughs> Oh gosh! Damn, he's got me thinking now. What other video game characters <laughs> are there? Samus, little. But she was armored. The yeah, whole she time. was armored. So it's like, hey. oh, oh, oh. Did you ever play uh, Soul Calibur? Yes. Ivy. There we go. Yeah. She had a whip. That's right. Well, she had a sword that was a whip. That would hurt. Hmm. <laughs> now he meant we would be watching strippers on a video game. There used to be a video game. It was for the original Xbox. It was called the Guy Game. Oh yes, I remember seeing this, and, and there was also the uh, the BMX XXX. Do you remember this? I didn't see that one. No, there was. It was only sold in like certain places. It was like one of the first games that had an AO rating. Okay. The, the adults only. Yeah, it was BMX Triple X. Mm. <laughs> Dudes not wearing shirts. I mean, <laughs> I'm just. Kidding. I think it was a bunch of chicks, but hey. Well, there was also a. Uh, there was a Leisure Suit Larry stuff too. Wasn't well, yeah, there? there was a Leisure Suit Larry for the computer. Um, back in glorious, uh, was it eight bit or sixteen bit? I don't know. Okay, they there was a Playboy game. Oh yeah, there was a Playboy game for the original Xbox. <laughs> original Xbox had it all. That's right, man. This new 360 with its parental controls. <laughs> Crap. They had to go family friendly. Yeah. Uh, that'll be fun. That could be a new line of games. Oh God. For the Kinect. <laughs> 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 oh god oh my god <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about what, what? <laughs> I, 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 that was a camera malfunction I, I, I didn't do anything sometimes when you're nervous <laughs> <laughs> but that's bad <laughs> wow <clears throat> so yeah uh, we got Super Bowl. We t- uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Singles Awareness Day. <laughs> Any plans? Working. Mm. I don't celebrate Valentine's Actually, Day. Actually, that'll be that'll be Tuesday. Yeah. So I'll be at Bible study. Mm. With the ladies. With the one lady. Yeah. And she's already spoken for. Yeah. I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. In the respect of giving gifts. It's because it's Singles Awareness Day. Uh, I will take Ashley out for a nice dinner. We're going to Asahi's with Ooh. Gwen and Scott. Ooh. So that'll be good. And But I take Chloe too. So it's yeah. like everybody. That's right. It's a little family. Yeah. Uh, instead, this past weekend. And so we don't give each other gifts at Christmas and we don't give them a Valentine's Day. But we're very materialistic people. So because we want to get each other nice stuff because we want to receive nice stuff. But we blow a bunch of money on Christmas on everybody else. So instead, we celebrate Christmas times, which is which is where we buy each other really nice gifts and just give them to each other at Valent- around Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she gave me two hundred bucks to go into that computer. Yeah, cool. Uh, I gave her a new purse. Well, actually, I gave her money for her to go pick out her own purse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what we did this past weekend was our kind of Christmas times day. Up in Annapolis? Yeah. Yeah, I saw your status on that. Oh, my God. So um, we, it was another we went, ended up going with. Because what happened was, uh, what had happened was <laughs> we had been talking. You were, it was the day we went to Ruby Tuesdays okay. and you had your accident. I had my car accident. Uh, we had been talking with Gwen and Scott, our, my old roommate and his n- fiance, uh, about this really nice restaurant. That we went to for our first anniversary. Um, I thought it was Loon Steakhouse, but it's apparently Looness okay. Steakhouse. It's up in Annapolis, down by the harbor, right across the harbor from the Naval Academy. Um, really good place. It was awesome. 
Uh, we enjoyed it so much. Problem is, really expensive. Like, first time we went there, we spent like 100 bucks on the meal. Yeah. For, yeah. for how many people? For two? For two. Two, oh. two people. Was the plate, like, did it have gold flake all over everything? It should have. It was awesome. Damn. And so, uh, we were talking, and we were th- they were intrigued. So, I was like, let's all go up there for, you know, Valentine's Day. The, the weekend before, we'll go up there. We were going to make a weekend out of it, but then we decided there wasn't that much we were going to do. So, we just took spent the day up there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we went up there. We went to the outlets that are up in Queenstown, pa- over the bridge. Okay. Uh, over the Bay Bridge. Uh, we went to the outlets over there. That's where Ashley was able to get her purse. Um her fancy designer purse. Uh, and then we hung out at the mall. They bought more stuff at the mall. Mm. Um, I had ice cream. You had ice cream? <laughs> Yay! Did you have pretzel? Uh, no, but we did go to um, Auntie Anne's. Okay. But we got the uh, the little um, the nuggets, the, the, the cinnamon sugar ones. Ooh. Oh, those are so good. Yeah. I was eating my ice cream and then I had one of those like, I should have got one of these. <laughs> so I ended up stealing like half of Ashley's. Uh, let's see. Why can't there be a video game outlet store with all this? I said the same thing. All right. <laughs> I was like, you see these like Michael Kors and coach outlets and all that. And there's always like the chair or two that's in the corner. There's always like the husband over there. I was like, these people would make so much more money. They just spit like, $500, which is the cost of like two purses or one, depending on what you get there, and get like a nice TV and like an Xbox, put it in a corner, and the guys will be begging their wives to go there. Yep. And then once they're there, honey, can I buy? I don't care. <laughs> Cha-ching. That's right, man. There's not like a single store in those outlets that I actually want to go to. There, I mean, like, there's maybe a couple of places if I actually needed some clothes and I wanted to get nice clothes, like business clothes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, no place that I actually want to go, ooh, let's go there. <laughs> no. Let's get some shoes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, Chase. Oh, my God. So, yes, yeah, so we did that. Went to the mall. I got to recharge. I was like, I've been in the outlets all day. I am completely demasculinated. I need an Apple store like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we ended up chilling in there for a while, which is always fun. Yeah. Playing on computers. Touching all, their, touching all their fancy stuff. Yep. I'm touching all your stuff. Touching all your stuff. And then uh, went, to go, went back to the Luness Steakhouse. I got the, f- the first time I went, I went, I got the filet mignon, petite, which is still like an eight-ounce steak. 30 bucks. Yeah. This time, I was like, I'm spending big money here. Mm -hmm. I got the regular filet mignon, 14-ounce steak. They come down, bam! This thing was like, (laughs) huge. Did it have bacon wrapped around it? It should have. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Best steak I've ever eaten. So nice and juicy and tender. <laughs> oh, was it like fork tender where he just probably could have? Oh, okay. Um, I asked for medium well, but since it's so thick, like of course it's like red, a little bit of red on the inside. Yeah. As she's like, "That's really red." I'm like, "Of course it is. The steak's so thick. <laughs> you know, it's hard to get like all of this medium well, you know, without burning the outside layer." Um, so. Oh, so great. And it, it's it's even like when you when the salad is like the best salad you've ever had, you know it's like an awesome place. Yeah. And then to top it off, we all pitched in and bought like this uh fancy dessert. Oh, it was like a brownie and an ice cream covered in fudge and all sorts of stuff and you just that thing four spoons, home. <laughs> it was gone. Ow. I am not kidding. 5 minutes it was gone. Sweet. The guy came back and was like, where did it go? <laughs> like, we ate it. We walked out. Our bellies were, like, twice as big. <laughs> Food babies. Yeah. So, awesome day. Awesome. 
Also, in the minute meantime, managed to go to the comic book store. That's where I got this, ah. th- these, these things. I got the because uh, I told Ashley I was like, everybody's spending money. I want to buy something because <laughs> it's like when everybody's buying stuff around you, really nice stuff. Like I want to buy something. Yeah, you don't want to be. You don't want to feel left out. Yeah. So I was like, Ashley, let's go. Can we please go to the comic book store? <laughs> What? Is your phone one of the neat ones with the Siri? No. Okay. Um, my cousin, she's in, uh, I believe she's in New York right now. Her status, um, her husband is, Siri, what is your favorite color? And Siri pops back, my favorite color is, well, I don't know how to say it in your language. It's sort of greenish, but with more dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so I was like, I kind of know what I want. We can just pop in, I grab it, because... I've been really getting into, like I told you on the iPad, I've been reading a lot of Transformers comics because I was a big Transformers guy. Like back when I was a kid, like I'm talking like when I was like four, five, six, right up until Batman the Animated Series came out, I was a big Transformers kid. So I started reading Transformers stuff and it really got me into it again. I was like, and there's, I've been told, I was listening to a couple podcasts, like you got to read this storyline, it's called All Hell Megatron, which is... Basically, the Decepticons win and take over Earth. Okay. And so, and I had seen, the other reason why is I had seen the All Hail Megatron hardcover in the Prince Frederick comic store. And I was like, really one. I was like, it looks so awesome. Well, I go up to the, the Annapolis one, and apparently that they, they've sold out and it's out of print now. Oh, damn. But instead, I got the, uh, the IDW, which is the publisher that's putting out. The, cause that storyline was just a part of their Transformers comics comic line, so they actually have a hardcover si- series for um, for all of them. Like it says the Transformers, the IDW collection. Mm-hmm. This is actually uh, number five, and it has that All Hell Megatron story in it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and it's also like the all the complete All Hell Megatron deluxe hardcover was like seventy five dollars. Which that. is why I hadn't gotten it yet. Okay. How much this was that? 50. Sweet. Yeah. Is that Megatron on the cover? I think it's Starscream. I was going to say, okay. I was like, yeah. I was like, I can tell it's a Decepticon because there's right. a little logo there. Yeah. But uh, let's see if I can hold it up to the camera. There we go. This thing looks awesome. Like, I have not been a really much of a hardcover person. Mm-hmm. I have bought a couple of hardcovers only because a lot of stories come out as hardcovers first. Gotcha. Like, I want to really want to read it. Um, but I'm much more. If you look, if you can notice over there on the comic rack, I am much more of a trade paperback person. Um, mainly because they're cheaper. Just a little bit. I mean, we got that shelf there, and then that shelf there, and then that shelf down there. Oh, those are books on the bottom. And the, oh, I mean, they're paperback. Well, whatever. Those are like textbooks. <laughs> they're still paperback. They don't really count. <laughs> you don't really count. Yeah, your face doesn't count. Oh, so. I usually go with paperbacks because they're cheaper, but this thing just looks so awesome. And like on the bookshelf, if I get like, I'm gonna have to get the rest of these. They're just gonna look awesome, taking up space on the bookshelf. Now, what's the what's the spine look like? It's oh, not it that fancy, the, but okay. I was gonna say like if you have, if you had, if they took all of their books, if they knew they were gonna come out with like ten. Yeah, and, and divided it up the, so it's like a picture across. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen stuff like that. But yeah, but a lot of the hardcovers are really nice, so I'm definitely gonna. And it even had like a uh, a marker, like a one of those little fabric things to mark the place. That's nice. It was really fancy. What's so going on, on the back there? Huh? It's just the arm and the gun. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Um, I think you can get these even cheaper online. Mm. So I may have to do that. Also, uh, but since I was like, hey. I was planning on spending like 70, 80 bucks. I'm only spending 50, so I can get some other stuff. <laughs> um, they had this, like just kind of laid around. It's a Magic the Gathering comic book. Okay. And if you notice down here in the there's corner, a, there's a card. Who there's It comes with a magic card. Like it comes wrapped up, and uh, it actually comes with a magic card, in okay. the, which I think all of them should come. I hope it's not just a first. Okay. The the first issue comes with it because like that would be a big selling point for me. Like, you get the comic, yeah, a comic book, and, and a card. A card. Yeah. I mean, see, this one's called Treasure. Oh look! Oh, that's awesome! I just now noticed that it's a it's a blue spell. No, no, no. And the, it's the cover, the the cover, the card art is the cover of the issue. Okay, that's awesome. 
Let's see, it's treasure hunt. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. Then put all the cards revealed in this hand in your hand this way. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's rare. It's got the gold. It's got the gold. It's yeah. a, It's an instant. Uh, sorcery. Sorcery. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, like this is the uh, this is the other hard cover. I was actually I I so I got this and I flipped it over and saw this. Yeah. Infestation. Infestation was a storyline I heard about last year. Is IDW has a lot of the properties books like GI Joe, Star Trek, Transformers, Ghostbusters. Well, they did a book called Infestation where zombies went into all these different universes, and it was like they didn't cross over so much. Okay. But it was like, how would the GI Joe react to zombies? How would Star Trek react to zombies? How would the Transformers react to zombies okay. and like the Ghostbusters? So I and I looked at the hardcover and it was like that looks really cool too. Kind of want that, um, but they didn't have that either. So instead, I got I got the paperback version of that. This is the volume one which, paperback. Uh, this has the story that started it, which was one of their smaller books. Okay. Then the GI Joe part and the Transformers part. Okay, is that so, what the CVO thing is there? Yeah, I think so. Okay, gotcha. So, there's that. Uh, I haven't heard uh, really that many. Like I've heard that it actually kind of sucked, yeah. but I'm still kind of interested in what happened. Um, and they actually came out with Infestation Two, which is supposed to be like Cthulhu. But apparently, I think in this time the universes are actually going to cross over. Okay. Because that so. was the big deal. Is everybody heard about Infestation? And they were thinking that, hoping that they would actually like the characters would cross over. Get some like, you'd see, so like, like GI Joes be running into battle. GI Joe all of a with the with, Opti just, <laughs> with Optimus Prime and like Spock, <laughs> and then like the Ghostbusters. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. I'm just itch. I mainly it's just curiosity. I'm a big zombie fan. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of zombies, speaking of zombies, you may be noticing that we recorded an extra hour early. One hour earlier, guys. That's because. At 9 o'clock p.m. Central or Eastern, Eastern time, time. Eastern Standard. We have the return of The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. And we Walker! And we typically like to go over. So to prevent that, I decided to bump up the time. That's right. And make sure we had time. Oh. Uh, Can't wait. Walking Dead. I watched. I've been watching the episodes, just flipping back and forth to AMC. Yeah. All oh, they were they were in like a marathon, didn't all they? All of season one yesterday. Yeah. All of season two today. Nice. No, we did not. Dachshund, we did not move it up for once upon a time. No. Walking Dead! Walking Dead. All right. It's and then after Walking Dead, we got uh, the premiere of Comic Book Men, which you didn't know about this. Which I, I didn't know about that. I had heard stuff about it. Like I said, I heard about it. Like I told you, I heard about it when they were doing the casting call for it. And it takes it's a reality show that takes place at Kevin Smith's comic book shop, which is called like Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash. Okay. And it's about like some of the workers and the customers that they do. And because it's a comic book store and because it's Kevin Smith, I was like, this has got to be interesting, at least in a little bit. So I'm going to watch that when it comes on after. After The Walking Dead. Yeah. And I may see if I can DVR The Talking Dead. Which The Talking Dead is kind of funny. Have you seen it? I've I've stayed up until midnight to watch it sometimes. Um, it's a half hour show. Uh huh. But they um they have a half hour live on TV. Yeah. And then they roll some more online. Right. So it's like but it's, it's featuring Chris Hardwick, which I've listened to a lot of his podcasts, and he's yeah. awesome. One of the things um, I didn't figure this out until I started seeing like commercial more commercials for it. Um, every once in a while, there will be like one character from The Walking Dead on The Talking Dead. Yeah. But um, like I saw, do you know who Aisha Tyler is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's been nowhere in The Walking no, Dead. No, they bring on like other people. Yeah, to bring in random people. I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. So it's like they they had to bring in some, one of the one of the characters and then they just brought in a hot babe for the hell of it and i'm like i'm okay with that that's gonna be cool <laughs> i think gary Busey was in one of them oh my gosh I, it, not that he's a hot babe but that's kind of uh, i was about to wonder man uh, no, I'm just um, no they just bring on random people to get their reactions like okay now that you just watch the show yeah what do you think what do you think <laughs> the one thing i am slightly aggravated about with the walking dead was they spent all of last season looking for the girl looking for that damn little girl yeah and turns up she was dead in the uh spoilers. What? That was last season, man. That Actually, was that was season. still same season. This is just part two of season two. Okay. Well, um, mid season finale, she's a walker. Sorry. 
Rick walks up. Bam! Pops her right in the forehead with that giant hand cannon. Sadness. Yeah, they. me and Ashley were saying they really got to redeem themselves a lot with this season. So this episode better be banging. They better be so, I mean, rocket launchers. <laughs> I doubt we'll see that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that a lot. We're going to go watch it on the nice new 55-inch. Because we were watching sales around the Super Bowl. We're like, We've been wanting to get a nice fifty-five inch for the for the upstairs. Mm-hmm. Actually, we're talking about like that's really what we want. We don't we want a a nice big screen TV, but uh, we didn't want to pay the price. But exactly, we watched some of the prices that came down, and then got a really good deal, Super Bowl. So we we're like snatch, <laughs> it's mine. Yeah, exactly. It's awesome. It's got Netflix built into the TV. Oh, cool. Okay, I th- is that what Ashley was watching? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, you plug. It's got an Ethernet jack in the TV, and it just hardwires right into the router. And then I've got it. Off, I've got it set up for Amazon, my Amazon Instant Prime okay. stuff. Uh, Netflix. They've got other apps. You can buy like a camera that goes on top, and it got it has Skype. Hmm. Um, which like the camera's like two hundred bucks. Like for two hundred bucks, we'll just use it on our computers. Oh, I'm saying, you, that, is it a USB powered camera or something that's got a? It's like a special camera, I think. That's uh, it's like a Vizio brand camera. I was like, if there's a USB port on the side of that computer, let's just play with one of your cameras and. <laughs> see what I don't. I have to see what the what the connection is. It's probably gonna be some like weird, con- like it's in the shape of a like a hand with ten fingers though, and you gotta <laughs> plug it in there somehow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like we found out when we were in using Xbox controllers for the original Xbox, we ended up modding them into USB controllers mm. because the original Xbox controller was all it was was like it was a USB cable plus an extra wire. So we just taped off that wire and like spliced it with a USB mouse that we cheap USB mouse and then instant USB controller. Sweet. There was like free drivers you could get. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to try that because I because I have my I have my wireless controller that I use on my uh, computer. Uh huh. I want to see if there's gonna be a difference between a wired and a wireless. Well, I don't. The the US you can get wired. The the Xbox 360 controllers are USB. Yeah. I know that's what I'm saying. Well, because like I have the I, have I thought the, you were talking about splicing them. Oh, I'm like, no, there's, no, no, there's no, like, no need. J- oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab a 360 controller and then mutilate it and then oh. <laughs> it was already ready already. <laughs> yeah. Ba-dum-bum. See what you do is just buy a 360, and then you have a reason to buy more oh, controllers. Yeah, that would no, not buy a 360. Why not? Because I gotta pay the government. Oh yeah. Bastards. <laughs> Looks like we know where all that check money from the wreck is going. <laughs> oh no, that money's already gone. Oh gosh! I set up. I didn't. I didn't do stupid stuff with it. I set up my bills, like I'm, I'm half a payment ahead on every single bill. Oh, nice. Yeah. So now all those payments that you you yeah. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Oh well. It's government. Freaking go hate the government. Freaking bastards. Shh, shh. What? I hear helicopters. They have helicopters. That's right, they got that new. What? Oh, okay, nothing. I was, I was reading chat. Stop reading, reading the chat room. What do you mean, stop reading the chat room? There's people are talking to us, and he's already gone, so we can make fun of him. <laughs> our one, our one talker is gone. Oh, sadness. Oh, hang on, let me see. If, is there anybody else in the chat room? Hmm. No, there's no one else. In, hey, my cousin's in there, but he's always in there. <laughs> he's a little brat. All right, I think it's time for us to leave, too. It, it might be time for us to leave. We are. Oh, there's the music. There's the music, guys. So, so it's, it's time to leave regardless. You ain't got to go home. But you can stay here. Keep in mind, uh, if you guys want to talk to us, let us know what you're going interested in. What If you have any feedback, comments on this episode, chris at ocdcast.com. You can find me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Chris the Prof. You can find Philip at Philip dot 
or Twitter dot Philip dot com. <laughs> yes, Philip dot com. Philip underscore R D. Um, by the way, I set up a uh, new Twitter account. Uh-huh. Uh, it's called Stuff Said Number Two Me. Stuff so anytime me. Ashley gives me weird f- sense, says me w- says weird funny quotes, <laughs> stuff said to me. All right, cool. Like the first one was like, "I could kill you for making me want Minecraft," but by the full version of Minecraft. <laughs> I think well, there was another one that was, uh, "Could you hand me the soup? It's on the on the edge of the counter." Wait, and I was like, "What?" And she's like, oh, I mean the printer cartridge. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> so it's got to the point. I'm like, by the way, I'm Twittering that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Facebook.com slash obsessive comics disorder. That's the that's a Facebook. If you're a Facebooker, if you do some Facebook. Facebook. We're not, you haven't Google Plus us, have you? Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, there is, I think, a page. Okay. I'm on Google Plus as Chris Renshaw. Um, but I don't. I don't really. I post stuff occasionally, but I'm more Facebook, Twitter. Uh, and then don't forget to go to OCDcast.com for all the information and to watch the show live. That's right. Yeah. Every Sunday, looks like we'll be doing it at seven now. Probably. Sundays, seven p.m. EST. Yep. So keep uh keep your eyes peeled to that. And this wonderful music you are hearing in the background that is the song L3. By Skyhawk on his album Function. Go listen. Go buy it. It's awesome. It's amazing. And your mic's like messing around. My mic is doing whatever it wants. All right. So, peace out, you guys. We will see you next week. Deuces. No, I was picking my nose. Don't do that. Ah. Yeah, like, uh, boom. Can't see my face. Check it out. I'm going to make sure to click record. All right, there we go. On the the video. So we can actually get video this time. Nah. Nah. <sighs> Where we're going, we don't need video. Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do. All right. So audio's recording. Video's recording. You're ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready? stealing your fries. Hey, go ahead. The welfare fries. The welfare fries. <laughs> That's offensive to welfare, people. It, um, it... it it's not offensive when it's true. Oh. All up Still. in my chiz, man. What do you have to do? Hey. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you, 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 shut up. I will eat your stuff and like it. That's right. Considering I helped her bake it. That's that's uh, you pulled it out of the bag. Hey, I flipped it over in the oven. All right, all right. Oh, I okay. Have, I should have looked at this stuff. More. Okay. I really got to get a new another one of those cameras. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Go ahead. All right, starting the show in three, two, one. Bing. There is nothing wrong with your music player. Uh, it was it was it was kind of low at first. Let me restart that. Okay. Take two. There is nothing wrong. You no, know, it doesn't help when you say take two as I'm hitting it. <laughs> that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Three, two. No, you're not supposed to say two in one. You're just supposed to go. <laughs> Three. You remember that Rain's World? Yes. Okay, just making sure. All right. No, no motions, no talking. There is nothing wrong with your music player. Everything you hear is being carried out as we intend. We control the treble and the bass. The imaginative processes between your ears are now under our influence. Do not attempt to adjust this podcast. You're listening to Relative Dimensions. (laughs) 